welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to do design of reinforcement concrete building using robot structural analysis with the european code these are the list of european standards we need to perform design of reinforcement concrete building self height and impose load that is dead load and live load to be referred as per european standard en 1991 part 1 section 1 2002 structure exposed to fire en 1991 part 1 section 2 2002 snow loads european standard en 1991 part 1 section 3 2003 wind load en 1991 part 1 section 4 2003 for seismic load en 1998 part 1 2004 load combination in ultimate limit state and serviceability limit state we need to refer en 90 1990 2002 design of concrete structures en 1992 from part 1 to 3 This is a part 3 video of model design of reinforcement concrete building using robot structural analysis using euro code so in this part we are going to discuss about the load combinations in ultimate limit state serviceability limit state design of reinforcement for columns beams and roof slabs results showing bedding movement diagram and shear force diagram reinforcement information and reactions So before look at this video please watch our previous part 1 and 2 for the continuation of understanding this topic design of reinforcement building so let we go into the robot model when looking for load combinations as per european standard en 1990 there are several load combinations according to the standards so for structures generally there are uh, two categories of uh, load combinations that is a uh, major categories one is uls ultimate uh, limit state another one is sls serviceability limit states under uls there are three category set a set b and set c in set a considering two directional wind that is x and y and snow loads uh, temperature loads there are 19 numbers of load combinations under set b there are three categories again based upon the uh, equations 6.1 6.1a and 6.1b so totally under set b it is 57 numbers of combinations for two directional winds x and y snow load and temperature load similar like under set c there are 19 numbers of load combinations next is under seismic or accidental cases that is in class d as per table a 1. 3 of en 1990 there are six number of combinations this six number of combinations also even get increased if there is any accidental loads next is a serviceability limit states load combinations this is also divided into three categories one is characteristic conditions next one is frequent conditions third one is quasi permanent conditions so in this there are 30 numbers of load combinations so these are about structure load combinations when uh, come to the foundation load combinations this is as per european standard 1997 for uh, equilibrium check there are 10 numbers of load combinations for uh, geotechnical check and that structure design that is a design of base slab and the column 
below foundation we need to follow this load combinations so there are 19 number of load combinations this is a ULS type of load combinations and in set A2 there are some combinations are listed here and set A1 so totally considering the ULS load combinations for set A1, A2 and A3 sorry A1 favorable permanent conditions there are 49 numbers similar for uh, structure for foundation also we need to consider serviceability limit states load combinations there are seven load combinations considering two directional wind load snow load and temperature load along with the live load and the dead load so these are the load combinations we need to consider while doing building now let we look into our uh, robot model we already created the dead load live load wind load seismic load we had seen this in uh, our previous part so now we can <coughs> come to the original model so now we need to apply the load combinations for that you need to click loads there are two methods manual combinations and automatic combinations for manual combinations we need to create the new combinations we need to mention here number and whether it is a ULS or SLS or accidental cases we need to type it here and after creating that we need to assign the factors you can check in our previous video how to create the manual combinations we already assigned uh, seismic in various uh, combinations so it is better for us to go for automatic uh, combinations to reduce our uh, time on uh, designing this building so we can select uh, full automatic combinations this is the combinations is as per european standard 1990 and click ok now we need to click the calculations icon which is just below the main menu now the calculation is performed you can see a green color circle here which means your model is ready with all the analysis applied loads everything now it is ready for designing for reinforcement now we need to click the design icon design menu under that actually we need to design rc column beams separately and floor slabs that is the roof slabs we need to design separately so first let me design beams and columns so under design we need to click record reinforcement of rc beams or columns so now you can see in the right hand side there is a table where all the members are listed here 1 to 42 so we had defined already from 1 to 18 is rc column and 19 to 42 is rc beam and the reinforcement parameters remain as per standard so this standard means it will follow european standard en 1992 part 1 so grade of materials also assigned you need to check this whether all those parameters are assigned to these bars and next we get selected here all members so don't forget to select this ULS SLS combinations so what are the combination you need to consider for a design of these members you need to select here so ULS is nothing but it is ultimate limit state for a member design it should be considered and SLS is a serviceability limit state this is required to check the stability of the structures ALS is an accidental load state so this generally used to consider like seismic and other any accidental load record to be considered for the design 
so we had chosen all the members which are listed in this bar table so now click this calculate so calculation is in progress so now the calculation had performed you can close this and now you can see the reinforcement arrangement for top reinforcement of beams the area of the reinforcement is given here for 19 beam member if you select you can see in the window model window also so top reinforcement it is mentioning 233 is the maximum steel area to be considered for that it is better to consider two numbers of 16 dia in bottom reinforcement 230 mm square of reinforcement is required for that two numbers of 16 can be considered so likewise you can get the information about the all beams and columns to be considered so if you want to find out for columns we need to click the column tab so here for column reinforcement also it is provided for column number 1 is required two numbers of 16 so you can also find out uh, alternative diameter by calculating using this area of reinforcement required for the column now we can go for roof slab design for that we need to click design menu required reinforcement of rc slabs or walls now here you can see in the bottom the list of panels are selected by default 43 to 46 so he here again you need to click this if you want to consider accidental load also you need to click here generally for uh, finite element member sls should not be considered for a design of members as we know that slab to be designed only for ultimate load state not for serviceability limit state we can untick this and we can click calculate here so now the calculation is in progress yes so after completing this calculation process process you need to select in the right hand side area and click maps here you can see in the legend shown in the right hand side of the model window 457 square mm of reinforcement is required for red color highlighted slabs so almost all the slabs are in a red color if you want to find out the values directly you need to click values here we need to select the values under the maps and click apply so you can see the area reinforcement record here itself it is 452 square mm of reinforcement is required for this slab <coughs> if you click spacing means it is required 250 mm so we had to define already the reinforcement requirement for this so now it is easy for us to calculate the spacing and the diameter of the reinforcement for roof slab so for finding other results we need to go results reactions so in the reaction you can able to get the various forces for various load cases 
for that we can go to geometry model to filter more so under results reactions if we want to know the simple that is primary load combinations you need to click here and you will get all the support reactions or else if we want to know the sls combinations or uls code so for uls combinations these are the load reactions under sls these are the load combinations so this sls parameters of load combinations uh, information we need for foundation design accidental cases total combinations are listed here and if we want to see the bending moment diagram so click results and the diagrams of bar you can minimize this window and click f of x so this will provide you the shear force to select the load cases so f of y that is transverse uh, shear force is 30 kN maximum you can also select whatever force you want so maximum are listed here scale and if you want to find out the moment also you can click here moment in x moment in y so moment in y you can see moment in x so this are the scale factor Elex elastic ground reaction is not applicable for this structure so moment in x so likewise we can uh, take the result of bending moment diagram and the shear force diagram even for if you want to take for uh, slabs you need to click results maps so here you can find out the reaction of slabs so if you want to get the values means you need to click the values similar for bending moments you can find the bending moments of slabs this is map view for shear stress there is no rotations so for membrane force you need to select here along x y z so this is all about the design of uh, reinforcement concrete building using robot structural analysis with uh, european code if you find any queries or any clarification required please feed your feedback in your in our comment sessions thank you thank you look description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for notification towards more updates if you have questions or feedback please feed in comment box thank you